Hello everyone, it's Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything, and welcome back to another, it's been a while, another cast list analysis, a summary analysis, a title analysis. We have gotten the cast list for episode 14 just about an hour ago, along with the summary for 14 and the summary for episode 15. We also have the episode titles of 16 and 17, though we know nothing more besides the titles and who will be scripting and storyboarding the episode. So if you do not want any spoilers regarding Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns, now is your time to click off this video. Three, two, one, here they are. So we're going to start with the 14 cast list. In the future, I might be doing a face cam to make these a little more visually appealing since I can't use any images regarding Vrains, but we'll just have to use uh, DMC's beautifully articulated WordPress uh, <laughs> for this video and for the videos going forward. And thank you to DMC for translating as always. So episode 14, Ghost Girl's Invitation. Interested in the incident that happened 10 years ago, Ghost Girl challenged Playmaker to a duel with AI as a wager. Learning that he will be able to obtain the program that allows him to infiltrate Soul Technology's data bank if he wins, Yusaku heads to Link Vrains. Fully aware of the risks, Yusaku still accepted Ghost Girl's challenge in order to discover the truth about the incident that happened 10 years ago. However, he faces a tough battle against Ghost Girl's elusive Altergeist deck. So we got Emma's deck probably like around episode 5 or 6. I feel like it was during or like right around the Yusaku Blue Angel duel. It was definitely before the Yusaku Revolver duel happened because I remember a few of us were speculating that maybe Yusaku is going to duel Emma before he duels Revolver, but we are finally getting the duel that we knew was going to happen because when they revealed Emma's deck, we knew it was just a matter of time before, you know, she was going to use that deck and was going to duel. And so we get that duel starting in episode 14. I don't think the duel is going to start in 13, but what's interesting is we have a couple of new characters here. We have two new characters that we have never seen before, I believe, based on the name. I even went back to episode 13's cast list, and they do not appear on the 13 cast list. So here is the cast. Yusaku, Ignis, Kusanagi, Emma, Akira, and then here's the new characters. Kitamaru and Hayami. So those are two new characters. Let me actually really quickly look up if they are voiced by male or female characters so we might be able to understand um, what genders they are going to be. So Kato Masayuki is a male voice actor, so most likely Kitamuro will be a male character. He was uh, Schmidt in Sword Art Online for any for any Sword Art Online fans out there. He was also Danzu in Naruto Shippuden. So those are the two big animes that I'm seeing. Also, he was Parker in Pokemon Best Wishes. So he has a good amount of experience, a 43-year-old male voice actor. And Hayami is going to be voiced by Iki Chihihiro. And that's what I thought. It sounded like a female name. And she is a female voice actress. So that might be another female character right there. Of course, it could be a robot it could be a robot, it could be a news reporter, they might not be important characters. She has actually only been in four animes, but Boruto is one, which is airing right now. She plays Denki Kaminariman in Boruto. So, those are the new voice actors, the new characters that we are going to be getting in episode 14. Whether they are going to be extremely minor characters or more important characters, it is very tough to say. Actually, was Kitamaru the name of the guy that Soltek said was going to replace Akira, because now that I think about it, that might have actually been the name that they threw out there, so that will actually be very interesting to see that maybe Soul Tech will replace Akira in this episode. I don't remember if Kitamaru was the name of that character, but I'm sure I'll talk to you, I will definitely talk to you guys in the comments, leave all your thoughts down below, and we'll go over that down below. So, I'm going to move on to the summaries before I give my thoughts on all this. Episode 15, The Altergeists Lurking in the Darkness. Ghost Girl carries out an unpredictable duel with her phantasmagorical tactics. <laughs> Jesus, is that actually a word? Fanta phantasmagorical. Say that five times fast, Jesus. Meanwhile, Playmaker calmly analyzes Ghost Girl's moves and looks for a chance to use storm access. Thus, a battle of wits unfolds between the two as they try to outsmart one another. Who will ultimately triumph? And then based on the episode titles for 16 and 17, we probably know who will triumph. Episode 16, Infiltration, Souls Digital Fortress. Episode 17, The Absolutely Flawless AI Duelist. Now, I do want to say this. 
No Gilbo is animating episode 15. He animated episode 7, I believe it was, the Owie and Playmaker duel, the second part. Or what am I saying? That duel was a one episode. Episode 6 was the plot. Episode 7 was the only episode they dueled. And now he's he's animating the Yusaku and Emma duel. So they're using their best animator on their two female characters, maybe as a way to, to make up what will definitely be, what will most likely be horrible treatment for <laughs> for both of them down the road. At least they're going to look, uh, Owie looks great in episode 7 animation-wise, and I'm sure this episode so Noko Bo is incredible, will be animated brilliantly as well. So that's something kind of minor to look forward to. So it looks like Yusaku, well, it doesn't look like it. Yusaku is going to duel Emma and most likely is going to win. Hope, at least this is going to be a two-episode duel, so at least Emma is probably going to get some really cool um, development. Maybe we'll learn a little bit about her backstory. Probably not because I doubt Yusaku knows Ghost Girl is Emma. Then again, in the episode 13 preview, we see her going to Kusanagi's hot dog truck, so maybe she was able, because we know she's a very, from what we've seen, maybe just as skilled, if not more skilled, honestly, than Kusanagi. Probably not more skilled, but in his range, and she wanted to know who was the one that opened up that portal that let her get into the data storm. She probably did some backtracking and was able to find that the source came from the hot dog truck, so she's going to explore. It'll be interesting because Emma was also on the case to find out information about Playmaker, that she's going to be so close to Playmaker, Playmaker's real form, Yusaku, literally and figuratively in this next episode. She's going to be standing right next to him when she orders whatever she orders, or maybe she won't be ordering a hot dog, maybe she will be just talking to Kusanagi and just trying to understand more about him. It'll also be interesting to know if, to see if at that point Kusanagi knows Emma is Ghost Girl. So there's going to be a lot of just interesting developments going on, and hopefully we learn a little bit more about Emma. But I think it's awesome because she kind of stabbed, she didn't stab Akira in the back, it's just the character she is. She works for whoever, she works for the highest bidder. And she went behind Akira's back and worked for Soul Tech. Even though, again, she's not really going behind someone's back because obviously no one trusts her. And now she's going behind Soul Tech's back and is going to give Yusaku a way to get into their data bank if she loses this duel. And that is very interesting. Will that maybe put Emma in danger if she does lose and gives Yusaku this, this data bank? Will Soul Tech go after her and try to eliminate her or silence her or something like that? Or will they try to interrupt this duel? That's going to be an interesting dynamic, and we know Soul Tech, they won't be speaking in 13 or 14, the chess pieces, but the person that most likely is going to take over Akira, because I'm pretty sure it was Kitamuro, I'm pretty sure that was the name. Yeah, you know what, and I've just looked it up, Kitamuro was absolutely the name that was said. He will be the individual promoted to Akira's position, according to Soul Tech, and he is speaking in 14, so will he speak out against, even though it seems like he's more of a puppet than anything else, like the people of... Soul Tech said he was so predictable, so I don't know. That That's going to be very interesting. The reason I think Yusaku is going to win this duel, though, is because episode 16, someone is infiltrating Soul's Fortress, and then 17, the absolutely flawless AI duelist. Is that about Ignis, or is that about something else that Soul Tech maybe created? Will this maybe be the first duel that Yusaku loses? I don't know. We don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see for more summaries, for more information about those next two episodes, because it's way too early to make any kind of predictions like that, but, you know, I, I can't wait to hear your predictions just based off the episode titles. I think it's safe to say Yusaku is going to win this duel. Honestly, I would have, when I first heard about this duel, because we got the 13 to 15 summaries before we got the 16 and 17 uh, titles, and we got before we got these really long summaries, too, about 14 and 15, I was a little disappointed. I honestly would have rather seen Kusanagi make his duel debut against Emma, I think they kind of maybe are going to have a connection going down the road with their, you know, hacker prowess. So I would have I would have enjoyed seeing those two duel instead of Yusaku because this is another duel where Yusaku duels and it's starting to feel a little like early GX when Judai was the only one who was dueling. And as much as I love Judai, that was the big problem with GX. Judai dueled, I think, about 86 times throughout Yu-Gi-Oh! GX and the next closest was Yugi who dueled about 55 to 60 times. And Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters had 40 more episodes than GX, and Judai still dueled like 20 or 30 more times than any other protagonist. That was the problem. Then again, Judai was dueling a lot of one-shot duelists. They're not really doing that, and they are taking time to focus on the plot, which, 
makes me not as annoyed as I was early on in GX when no other characters were kind of getting development or dueling, so they are doing it much better, but still, it's a minor complaint that we're now 15 episodes in and Yusaku is involved in every single duel. Hopefully that will change at some point, but they've got to introduce new characters. They're going to introduce two new characters in 14, including this Kitamuru guy, so I'm very excited to see what the future holds for Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns, and obviously, to give my thoughts on tomorrow's episode, episode 13, and more excitingly, to talk to you guys finally about a cast list, about summaries. I have not been able to do that in now three weeks, so please, guys, let me know all your thoughts down below. I'm thrilled to talk to you guys once again. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed my analysis. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.